Are you tired of missing Sudoku solves that should have been obvious? I'll show you how to spot a popular Sudoku strategy in this puzzle that most other solvers would overlook so that you will never get stuck by this again. Click below if you want to give this puzzle a go. And with that, it's solving time. What can go in this cell right here? If you look across row 8, you'll notice that a 6 cannot be in any of these three cells. Also, a 6 cannot be there because of this 6, and it cannot be here because of this 6. So the only place a 6 could go in row 8 is right there. Greetings, friend. This is round 7, puzzle 4, from the 2024 Sudoku Grand Prix. And most Sudoku solvers will overlook the popular strategy you need complete this puzzle. I'll show you how to spot this strategy quickly. First, you need to find some restrictions in this puzzle. Look at the ones. You got a one coming down, column seven. You have a one coming across, row six. There's only two possibilities for the one here in block six. So what I just did is called Snyder Notation. Anytime a three by three block, two possibilities for a can't you mark it in case you solve one of these cells, you can solve the other right away. But since we have Snyder plus one other one in this three by three band, we actually have a pointing pair. So these ones, since they're both in column nine and restricted to block six, this is a pointing pair. It means that a one cannot be anywhere else outside the block in this column. Because if you put a one here, here, or here, you'd have no place to put a one in block six. So we can use that information plus this one to make Snyder ones here in block nine. Uh, no Snyder marks you can make with the twos. Except for right here and here. You can do Snyder markings here with the twos as a pointing pair, just like I said with the ones. And now leave your twos to be right there. Okay. With the threes, you got another pointing pair. All right, but first you see these two threes and this three means you can solve for a three right here in the corner. Bum, bum, bum. And with those two threes, you can solve for a three right there. Okay, and then with the fours, these two fours restricts the fours of these two cells here in block four. And now with the sixes, you saw the six here. There's actually some more solves we can do. With those two sixes and this six, solve for a six in block one. Take these two sixes in this six and just kind of follow the wheel. Solve for six in block three. These two sixes in this six, six here in block six. And now with these sixes, you can put Snyder sixes in block five and Snyder sixes in block eight. With the sevens, you'll see these two sevens work together. Create Snyder sevens in block five. And then with the eights, we got something a little similar than right here uh, where we can get some more solves, kind of like with the sixes. You notice that this six cuts across row three, and this six comes up column six. So you got Snyder eights in block two. They act as a pointing pair. You can't have an eight here or here anymore. When this eight means you can solve for an eight right there in block three. And then with these two eights and this eight, you can solve for an eight in block nine. And then with those two eights, have Snyder eights here, block seven, and in block one. All right, after doing that, uh, with the nines, you see this nine and this nine, means you have Snyder nines in block nine. And now this is a tip I like to give you here. And the tip is we went through and one through nine and looked for Snyder marks. However, we also made some solved cells. And whenever you do that, my tip is to go back through the Snyder. You want to get all the easy, the intermediate solves here before you start looking for more advanced strategies. And I'm going to lead you up to the part where you need the overlook strategy. We're not quite there yet. So you might see with the ones, this one and this one, you have another pointing pair of ones here in block one. And then with this one, you can solve for one now in block seven. This place is that Snyder one. And then you can solve for one right there. Snyder one's here in block eight. And that's what we can do with the ones. All right. 
And now, got something pretty cool here. We're going to be able to solve one of these twos right there. You might see you have this two coming down, this two cutting across. So you have Snyder twos in block nine. You also remember you have Snyder twos right there. Right? So that limits the twos at these two spots. However, with these twos and this two, you actually make a solve right here. You know, this has got to be a two, the only place to put a two in block three. You're going to be able to eliminate that two and solve this cell now for a two. So using all those pointing pairs to kind of help create a solve all the way across the board there. And now we can also do Snyder twos right here in block two. And the twos will come into play here a little bit later. If you look down column three, you see quite a bit of restriction here, right? You got a one, two, three, six, eight, nine. Whenever I have at least five or more digits filled out in a column, row, or a block, it, it's worth looking at to see if there's enough restriction to make a solve. And so what you need is a four, five, or seven. Since the fours both cover these cells, the only place to put a four in column three is right there. And this creates a five, seven naked pair. This is a pretty powerful naked pair. What it means is the five and seven are the only two candidates that can be in these two cells. But it's also a locked pair. And so this five and seven not only satisfies column three, but now five and seven cannot be in any of these cells here in block four. And now let's look across row eight. I'll get rid of the colors here. And what you want to see is we have, you know, six digits filled out, a one, two, three, six, eight, nine, you need a four, five, and a seven. We we'll see the four and the five right there. This is going to be a nice naked single seven. So you, got, you want to find some of these uh, naked singles if you can. This is a very important digit here, which means this has to be a nine to finish column seven. And now you got a four, five naked pair right there. Find these naked singles really helps. You can't just do cross hatching if you want to get all the easy solves. And what it does is this nine now puts restriction over here in block four. So what can this cell be right here? You notice it can't be a one, can't be a three, a four, can't be a five because five's got to be one of these two cells, a six, can't be a seven because it has to be in those two cells, an eight or a nine. This is actually another naked single two. So find that seven and find this two really helps you to continue moving on in the puzzle. And those are easy overlook, but it's not the overlook strategy that I was hinting to at the beginning. We're getting really close to the spot I'm going to show you in this strategy. I'm going to tell you the reason it's overlooked is because it stretches beyond more than one block, and that's what can make it tougher to spot. But I'm going to show you how to spot it. All right. Now, after doing the two, let's look here. Block seven, you got this seven cutting across. You can solve for a seven in block seven. And then that is going to be all the Snyder notation you can put in this puzzle at this point. And so now I want to highlight this cell. This is the next cell you want to solve. You're going to have a hard time making any more marks to find until you can get to the point where you solve this cell. So I want you to focus on that. And I call this a one step restriction. Uh, if you're able to remove one more piece of information from this cell, you're going to be able to solve it. So let's see how we can do that. First, you want to focus on another row that has at least five digits filled out. This one right here, row three, one, two, four, and a nine. So you get this point in the puzzle, you're going to start looking for bye-bye cells. In this case, this can be a two or a four because it's two four. So that's a one nine. That gives you some interest. This cannot have a, a four or a nine. They have a one, two BVC right there. And then this cell cannot be a one or two. So we just found three by value cells by looking in this row. And now what you want to do is can we link these, any one of these by value cells to another one that will give us enough information to make some solves. And so you want to kind of focus where else are there a lot of restrictions or a lot of cells looking into a particular uh, a lot of digits looking into a particular cell. We'll look right here. All right, and I'll do this in orange. What can this cell be? You notice you have this 3789 here in the block, and then you have a six that looks at it from the row, and you have a four and a five that looks at it 
from the column. You see all that converge here. You'll notice the only things this can be is a one or a two. And this is huge because now you can see these orange cells form a one, two naked pair. And so the one, two, the only two digits that can be in there, that means a one, two cannot be anywhere else along column five now. And I want to hear from you before I move on. Did you see this naked pair? Or did you find something else that helped you move on in this puzzle? Please, 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 please drop it in the comments. Share it with the other viewers. I want you to help me grow the best Sudoku community on YouTube. It starts with your feedback. And I respond to each and every comment because I'm curious to see if you saw this. I think it's a very hard overlooked strategy, this naked pair, because it's not in the same lock. It's not locked, can it? Like this 5-7 is very easy to see. This 1-2 is not. And this doesn't solve the all the puzzle. It will just help us get to this green cell here and move on a little bit forward because we can still have some more solving we need to do. And naked pairs is one of the seven strategies that I cover in my free Sudoku solving guide. You can download it for free, pin comment below. But what this one, two does, if you look down here in this cell, what can this cell be? Can't be a one or two anymore. Can't be a three. Can't be a four or five. It can't be a seven, eight, or a nine. You can now solve this cell for a six. And what that does is it displaces the Snyder six from right here. And you can solve this cell now for a six. And you're like, okay, Tim, like, why'd you highlight the green cell? Because now we can solve the green cell. You notice you have these twos in rows four and five. And now this one, two naked pair means a two can't be here anymore. Where can a two go in block five? It has to go right there. And we're not done. This is just going to help get a little bit more solving in this puzzle. Because the next place you want to focus on is right up here. We're going to want to be able to get to the point where you can solve these three cells. So how do we get there? Well, first, you need to notice that that 2 allows us to displace this Snyder 2. Solve for a 2 right there. It means we can solve this cell for a 1. All right. You do the 2 and the 1. It creates some restrictions here. You got these nines now act in two spots here in block five. They act as a pointing pair. So now a nine can't be here or here anymore. And so the only place we can put a nine is right there. And that's going to give us enough information to solve these cells. We can put a nine right here. And I don't know why I had eights there because there's an eight right here in block one. But what I can do is my neat naked triple trick to solve all three of these cells right here. You notice you have a two, three, four, six, eight, nine. All you need is a one, five, and a seven. And whenever you have two of the three digits, the one and the five looking at one cell, and the other repeated, you can solve all three. So we know this has to be the seven. That's going to be your nine, your one, and then this digit has to be your five. Awesome. I love showing that. And when you get that in there, you're going to Put a lot more solves into this puzzle so you can move on to the next step. But you can learn more about this trick in this tutorial. Okay, after we made that solve, you'll notice there's just a 4 8 here, another naked pair in block 4. And it acts as lock cant, which means it's not only a naked pair for block 4, but also for row 4. This will help us get some more solves across row because what you'll see here is now the eights can't be in any of these cells and you have this eight in row five you can solve this cell for an eight and solve this cell for a seven and after solving that you got this eight displacing the snyder eight right there then you can solve this cell for an eight and solve this cell for a three all right and with these two threes solve for a three and solve that for a nine remember i talked about trying to solve the three and a nine across row two all right, and now this nine and this one means this has to be your four. That's going to be your one. So we're going to kind of finish up block two there. And with this four, that has to be a nine. And we got a four, seven naked pair up in block three. Can we do better than that? And yes, we can. Let's remove this marking. And so when you get into this situation, where do you go? Well, you try to remove marks if you can. Because of this nine, you're going to be able to displace this nine or nine right there and solve that for a nine. And then with this 9, you can displace that Snyder 9. Solve for 9 here, displacing the Snyder 2. And then 2 and this 2, you can solve for 2 here in block 8. And then we're going to be able to make all these solves in blocks 8 9, because this has to be a 4. 
The only thing left in block eight is a four and a five. So that's a five, that's gonna be a four. And this five means this is gonna be your four, that's gonna be your five in block I nine. Now this four will allow you to solve this seven and four up here in block three. See how that works? And now we just look for the biggest restriction to keep the solve going. We have a full house right here. I don't see a five in column eight. So that's gotta be your five. This is ambiguating the seven and five right there. All right, we got another full house. So we can finish up block five. So that's gotta be a one. This place in Snyder one, you can solve for a one right here. Looking good. And you just need a three and a five right there. Well, with that five, that's five. That's gonna be your three. We can solve for a three right here in block six. Last digit in block six is a seven. And let's move on over here to finish the rest of our solves. Because you have this five, that means this cell has to be a four. I can disambiguate the eight and the four right here. Very helpful pointing pair that it was and naked pair. This eight allows you to solve for the eight here in block seven. And our last digit is a five. Now see if you can spot the easily overlooked Sudoku strategy in this next video. Thank you so much for watching.